Good morning to you, and thank you for being here. If you want to turn with me, you can look in the book of Psalms, the 37th chapter. We'll be picking back up there and uh, continuing with uh, David's uh, speech, I guess, uh, addressing, uh, song addressing, uh, how we uh, how we deal, how believers deal with the age-old problem uh, of seeing the righteous uh, suffer while the ungodly prosper. And so David has told us that we are to just, uh, again, very easy to say, very difficult to do sometimes. Uh, he has told us that we are uh, simply to put our trust in the Lord, uh, to rest and wait on Him. And uh, again, it's almost as if somebody said, well, why? Uh, why should we do that? And he begins to list uh, the reasons and yesterday we looked at a few verses that uh, reminded us that uh, God will uh, ultimately, he says, break the arms. In other words, he will uh, take the power uh, away from the wicked and that they will uh, be judged. Uh, the opposite side of that coin is uh, what we're going to look at today. Uh, David, uh, beginning in uh, verse 18, uh, says, The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance uh, shall be forever. Uh, and so David, uh, after uh, telling us that the wicked will be judged and, and God will intervene. Then he uh, comes back to this idea uh, that he kind of keeps going back and forth in the psalm between the two, uh, two thoughts. He, he moves from uh, reminding us that the wicked will be judged to moving uh, then to reminding us that uh, the godly uh, will be blessed. And so uh, here he says that uh, the upright, uh, God knows the days uh, of the upright. And so he's uh, just reminding us that, um, that even when the, the righteous seem uh, to be suffering, uh, that God is aware. God has his eye. He sees everything uh, that is going on in our life, and he is uh, keeping an eye uh, on, those, uh, on those things. And even though the wicked uh, are prospering, uh, or so it appears, uh, that, uh, that is fleeting. Uh, as someone has uh, said, you've never seen a hearse pulling a, a trailer. Uh, they uh, that wicked uh, they may be prospering now uh, but uh, everything they're gaining all that wealth all that uh, success uh, will come uh, to a halt uh, at some point uh, the believer on the other hand he says uh, God knows their days and their inheritance shall be uh, forever uh, and so uh, David is reminding us that uh, again that this world uh, is not all we have as believers and that's uh, the perspective uh, that we sometimes lose in, in looking at this situation uh, and, and again I'm with you uh, I know how easy it is to do I know how uh, painful and difficult it is uh, again to see uh, the wicked prosper, and as I've, I've said already, uh, how much um, insult it adds to injury uh, to see the wicked prosper and the righteous suffer, and many times it is the wicked that are causing the righteous uh, to suffer, but what, what David is reminding us here uh, is that we have, uh, again, as I've used this analogy already, uh, of a, of a four-quarter ball game uh, and, uh, or a 500-lap race. Uh, we have to remember that this world uh, is not all uh, that the believer has. They have a, an inheritance, that David says, uh, that shall be forever. And so while the believer may, the, the, the wicked who is prospering may seem to be, you know, in the terms of a race way out front. Uh, the problem is, uh, to use again racing terminology, he's going to run out of gas before the race is over. And so uh, we, we have that promise here uh, of, uh, of an inheritance that will endure uh, and that we will receive long after 
uh, this life, this race uh, on this earth is done, David says uh, that we still have uh, a promise. And again, I, I mentioned this before, uh, history uh, has shown us time and time again uh, how quickly uh, wealth can be uh, can be gone. Uh, there was a commercial several years ago that I liked. And some of you may uh, you may not know the person. I really don't know anything about his quote unquote music. Uh, but the guy uh, M C Hammer uh, always wore those great big baggy balloon looking britches. Uh, and I believe it was a nationwide commercial and uh, had him doing a little dance out front of this mansion and houses and everything. Uh, and then the next scene, uh, it was all gone. Uh, well, you know, we've seen a lot of celebrities uh, that way that uh, were extremely wealthy and then seemingly overnight lost it all. Uh, the statistics tell us that those who win uh, those big lottery sweepstakes that um, – Within five years, I think it is, uh, 90-some percent of them are bankrupt. And so uh, having this world's riches today uh, doesn't mean having prosperity today doesn't mean uh, long-term success. But having God, uh, even though uh, it may be dark and, and difficult today, uh, we also know that the dark and difficult doesn't last because we have an inheritance uh, that lasts uh, forever. Uh, God, uh, he tells us here uh, in verse 19, they shall not be ashamed in evil time and in the day of famine, uh, they shall be satisfied. Uh, and so, uh, David reminds us that uh, that uh, th there will come a day uh, when in an evil time, believers don't have to be uh, ashamed and in famine, uh, they will be uh, provided for. And that word ashamed, uh, this there in verse 19, doesn't mean uh, ashamed like typically we think of uh, someone being ashamed, what it uh, is talking about is that uh, we won't be disappointed. Uh, we won't be uh, dis disappointed in that time because he tells us there uh, that God will take care uh, of our needs. But the wicked shall perish and all and the enemies of the Lord shall be uh, the fat of lambs and they shall consume in to smoke, they shall consume away. Uh, David gives us again back to the other side of the coin, the contrast uh, that the wicked who we look at and sometimes think today uh, they are prospering and they have everything, um, <coughs> excuse me, going in their favor. He says they shall, it, and that, that word shall again, that, that's a definite, they shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall uh, be as the fat of the lambs and they shall consume uh, into smoke shall they consume away that's a lot of shalls uh, in one verse and so David is assuring us God through David uh, is uh, assuring us that uh, that that the wicked uh, will ultimately be judged. They will ultimately uh, be perished. Uh, they will perish. And, and the image he gives into smoke, he says, everything uh, that they have uh, will go up in smoke. Uh, it appears they're prospering. Uh, but as uh, we said yesterday, as a believer, uh, we have, as the previous verse says, uh, an inheritance uh, that is laid up for us where uh, moth and dust do not uh, corrupt. And, uh, and that's an image for us that... Um, is uh, it, that just transcends time, that idea of going up in smoke and the image of uh, as the fat of lambs. I don't know uh, the illustration that comes to my mind. I don't know if you've ever bought a uh, hamburger, maybe what is it, 70, 30 or whatever, uh, I think's the numbers they use. And, you know, you buy a pound of hamburger uh, and when you cook it uh, and all the fat goes away, you've got, you know, this much left. And uh, he's saying all they have, all the prosperity, that they have, it's like the fat on a lamb. When the fire, when the fire hits it, uh, it, it will be burnt up and it will be uh, turned to smoke. 
and it shall consume uh, away. And so this morning, uh, I want to encourage you uh, to keep that thought in your mind. Uh, it may be difficult today. It may be dark, and you may look around and see some uh, who appear to be prospering. But God's word reminds us that the day will come uh, when their pro what what appears to be their prosperity today uh, is going to go up in smoke uh, and is going to be gone. But what the believer has is eternal. We have an eternal hope. We have uh, an eternal promise, uh, again, that uh, is stored up uh, for us. And we've, we're reminded here uh, that God's eye is on us and he sees uh, everything uh, in our life and knows uh, what's going on. And so, uh, again, to use that phrase, lift up your head for redemption draweth nigh. Encourage you today to be encouraged. Uh, I, I don't know if that's a good sentence or not. Encourage you to be encouraged, uh, but uh, to know uh, that this world, uh, it, while today it may look like the wicked are prospering and the righteous uh, are suffering and going without, uh, but the game is not over. Uh, the The score, the final score, uh, has not been tabulated, and the day is is coming uh, when all that prosperity that uh, the wicked think they have uh, is going to go up in smoke. It's going to do them no good. They're going to stand before God one day and uh, with all their all, all their all their worldly goods, uh, and they're going to be of no effect because the Lord's going to say, uh, "Depart from me, for I never knew you." But the believer is going to stand there uh, and receive his eternal uh, reward. And so today, uh, I want to encourage the believer uh, with those words. And I want to encourage you today, if you don't know Christ, uh, that uh, you, you need to take these words to heart as well. Uh, and if you don't know him and you haven't laid up uh, treasure uh, in heaven, uh, I'm reminded of the old story, uh, and I'll leave you with this, of the preacher who went out to see the Texan, uh, the wealthy Texan, and the Texan took him up into the top of his barn, and uh, he said, uh, preacher, he says, look out through there. And he pointed to the north, and he said, as far as your eye can see, I own it. Took him over to the other side of the barn, and he pointed out, and he says, look out that way, as far as you can see to the south, I own it. Took him to the east and repeated it. Took him to the west and repeated it. Said, as far as you can see, I own it. And the preacher said, that's, that, that's good. I, I, I'm glad for you. But then he pointed up and he said, how much do you own in that direction? And that is the ultimate question today. How much do you own in that direction? Whatever you own in that direction, it is eternal. If you don't know Jesus Christ today, uh, contact information, uh, leave us a comment, send us an email. We'd love to talk to you about uh, your eternal destiny. Have a great day, and uh, remember uh, to be encouraged to, to be encouraged, all right? Have a great day, and we will see you back here tomorrow.